just wanted to make sure you didn't regret it. Whenever you're up for it, we have work to do. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Not much. But you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects get back a lot of noise, usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. If we watch each other's backs, we'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Go ahead. Just don't take too long or my contact's information might go bad. service, Captain.
Good day, ma'am. You too. A little busy right at the moment. Better off in Neon, but Outlands used to people like us. So the hardware is worth the trip. Wow, you look completely different. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. I hope we have what you need.
Right, right. Come back if you need something else. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. For decorating their ships for you. with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. Just check out the trade authority kiosk next to my booth. Otherwise, there's Jemison Mercantile further in. Sure, have at it.
By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellation's shining star of stars. Oh, you must have me confused with someone who isn't your number one fan. There's nothing weird about that. Although, for a second, I didn't even recognize you. Shame on me. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. Me too! I was minding your business as well, visualizing it, dreaming it, and tending to it like a garden in bloom. And now, here it is! Our first spring. Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Until then, Maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice uh, groveling at your feet? If not, I can start one. Oh, I should have known better. Obviously, someone of your stature doesn't need any help. I'll just continue to monitor your exploits from afar. But hopefully, not too far, until we meet again. It's a done deal. Our whole office is getting moved to Gagarin. Really?
I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right, so you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! abilities and to uphold the values. 
Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Only those on official United Colonies business can access the building. Most of Mast's employees have extensive training in their specific areas of expertise. But if you're interested in joining the UC, Commander Tuala of the Vanguard is just on the far side of the room. The Vanguard's open to anyone who can fly. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis.
I am at your service, Captain. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. I'm Captain, missing. hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing allowing you to build advanced equipment. The scan booster is the most obvious as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic resources, although rarer elements will be harder to find without training and while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet. You will have to analyze the native plants and animals yourself to know what compounds they produce. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. You may. I have no concept of privacy. You may ask me anything. I am programmatically incapable of keeping secrets. Constellation has seen to it that I possess a near encyclopedic knowledge of human history, art, culture, and science. May I answer a question for you? I have been programmed to comprehend all modern and ancient human languages. The only exception is body language. My body is crafted from reinforced metal and therefore incompatible with such forms of expression. I am looking at one. I hope that was a suitable response. Constellation did not equip me with a sense of humor. I have done my best to mimic Barrett's. This is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience enjoyment. However, I find that the music of ancient Japan has a pleasantly mathematical sound. The same is true of the works of European composers from the Baroque period. I have dedicated significant time to processing these compositions and understanding their structure. Logically, I believe the correct answer to be the airplane, followed shortly by the computer. Humans could not have become a spacefaring species without them. Illogically speaking, I am inclined to believe that books were your greatest invention. 
I have spent a good deal of time processing works of science fiction. They make good case studies in how your species could have made a mess of its entry into the stars in different ways than you did in reality. You are an exceptionally curious human. Constellation recovered me from an abandoned lunar robotics factory on Earth's moon, where I was manufactured. I am told I was in quite a state of disrepair. Barrett elected to refurbish me after the discovery. Since then, I have been reprogrammed to be useful to Constellation. That is correct. I am a first-generation Model A robot. As such, I was manufactured on Earth's moon. Modern lunar robotics products are manufactured elsewhere. Constellation is an exceptionally driven and intelligent group of humans. I would expect nothing less of them. I will answer your questions truthfully. Unlike you, I am incapable of lying. That is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience human emotions such as enjoyment. However, I have been kept busy since Constellation acquired me. That satisfies my directive to be as helpful as possible for the duration of my existence. In a geographical sense, the Lodge cannot be missed. It is easily accessible from the New Atlantis spaceport. But I presume that you are using miss in this context to mean long for. In which case, my answer is no. I long for nothing. Barrett, however, regularly complains about missing the Lodge's amenities during our travels. This has led me to the conclusion that it is a place worth missing. I have not taken your questions anywhere, Captain. Literally or otherwise, your vital signs indicate that you were not amused by this attempt at humor. Noted. I will tweak my linguistic processors accordingly. Farewell. This is all exciting, but... Ready to head out there? Really or did you still need time on your own? We have to get this right. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Captain, do you require my assistance? We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Bye bye.
Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Ah, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Whoa, where have I heard that line before? No, oh, I say the same thing every time John tries to get me to re-enlist. <laughs> I'd surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? All right, here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian. Born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Hey, vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? Easy there, John. We all have our sore points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right, I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system, okay. Hey, Sarah's friend. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. I'm going to tell them how I feel. I don't care that we're co-workers. Good for you.
security scanners, chemical sniffers. Hmm. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Good day, Captain. Recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing.
Sidonia is an industrial. Goodbye. Unless we're picking up parts at Deimos or digging for minerals, I hope you have a good reason for landing here. Martian sky. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. Trees, no grass. Yo, hey, what's it's up? It's depressing. You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything, and I'll do my best to help you out. Cool. That's what we do here. Come back anytime. here for over 40 years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. 
He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But. <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but. If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Try to guilt trip me, okay? Yeah, I'll get your point. I hope I can trust you. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus, that's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Steal that. UC Security, stop right now! UC Security, you're under arrest! I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. Smart decision. Stand by to be transferred. Process. 
I will, when I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistef. Are you familiar with what we do? Actually, that's something new we're trying. I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our horizons. UC Sistef is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we'd have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Steph. Together, we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Yeah. Still, what? It makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around, like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? Excuse me. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center 
dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Let's get one thing straight right now. While you're working for me, I'm going to treat you like one of my own. Whatever crimes you committed in the past no longer matter. You're now an agent of Sistef, meaning that it's my job to keep you alive. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. I don't want promises. I'm just asking you to think. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance, and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, it's going to be difficult for you to weigh the... Do what you have to do. I'm not advocating violence. I merely... Look, I can... If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd, and she's diligent. I'm afraid she's the best. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. As you were. Howdy. Yes. What? Excuse me. Howdy. 
<clears throat> All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. You have to understand that my agitation with the Crimson Fleet comes from personal experience. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch, Proceed to Sidonia, make contact with Saoirse Bowden, and with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Let me know if you need anything else. The Lieutenant wants those reports on her desk by tomorrow morning. Which report? Okay. Yes. Hello. for the robots.
can make a real good living. tell you, Sidonia is a great place to open up a business. We've really been booming lately, despite what the news media has been reporting. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Hmm. I can answer your general questions about Sidonia, but nothing venturing into politics. Sorry. But it's my strict policy that I only speak with select members of the press and major political donors who are serious about making changes for the future prosperity of Mars. I'm glad you understand. You never know who's out to write a hit piece or take advantage of someone in my position. Of course, if you just want to chat about what makes Sidonia great, I am happy to oblige. Sidonia's not much of a tourist destination, unless you're interested in humanity's first major colony outside of Earth. But if you're not here for work, and you're looking to kill some time, I'm, uh, told the Martian surface is great for hiking. Beautiful scenery. Assuming you like shades of red. If you're looking to kick back after that and experience Martian nightlife, the Broken Spear is as good a local watering hole as any. Enjoy Sidonia. The Governor is in currently. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything. 
All I'm going to point out is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off, so either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. Well then, we have nothing left to discuss, do we, love? Be seeing you soon. To Venus, prepare for today's final subterranean particle detonation. Be advised... You bring me that finder's fee? Or are you here to waste my time again? You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Well, well. It appears she suddenly remembers everything. How nice. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Got lots of stuff. Just ask. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. I am. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you? <sighs> Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable-looking guy in the entire place.
How's it going? Hello. I told them it was a bad idea. Have you ever met Something I can help you with? My toddler, for one, but I take it you mean an adult. Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? <clears throat> of course, I owe money. Unless you're independently wealthy. Everyone's in debt nowadays. I owe Deimos. I owe my landlord. I owe Galbank. Heck, I have a tab at Parsec Deep at Sespear. It's an endless list. So why don't you just leave me here? Let me get drunk and find someone else to bother, okay? Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Uh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait. You mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. Uh, I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Come on! Give me a break! What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Perhaps he's already been through enough. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. No way! I'm already working my fingers to the bone! Great. That's all I need. Uh, to become a charity case. Uh, how much lower do you expect me to go, huh? Look, I, I'd like to help, but... Well? No. I, I guess not. But maybe I was hoping he'd show a little mercy. Hmm? I'd like to think so. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Only one point of Moera's patrol route to work from. That's how it goes sometimes. for me? There, would you look at that? 
I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. down near the mines and enter any active sites at your own risk.
What do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away.
parts for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Oh, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. We still need to find any sign of Vanguard Moara. Keep your eyes. Talk to you later. Hello, Captain.
Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. 